Hi, everybody. I'm Mel Dore, the Aloha Shirt Psychic, coming to you from Chicago, and I have none other than Arthur in the house. I'm 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 talking from my arc. <laughs> we tried this a few minutes ago, and it got froze, and I clicked out of it, and I screwed it up. So this is the second take tonight. I think it'll be good. This it's going to be fine. Knock on wood. Okay. Speaking of an arc, all right. <laughs> um, you know, it was all over the news here in Chicago about um uh about the weather in california santa rosa where linda lives it was all over the news with mudslides down mm -hmm. trees you know the flooding and also it was on the news about laguna beach uh la mm -hmm. san diego De san diego yeah yeah you guys got like almost six inches of rain right it, it's still it's still raining it's like the fourth day and it's crazy um a couple apartments they have uh subterranean parking and cars start getting flooded out wow so, what river did they call it um some kind of river it's a it's a climate change i'm drawing a blank um atmospheric river atmospheric river um i never heard of one before this so I, the last time it rained like this they were calling it el nino you know back in 1999 i guess it was but this has been kind of crazy. crazy. So for these politicians who don't believe in climate change, all they do is step outside. Yeah, <laughs> really. As I was saying earlier, it was almost 60, 60 degrees, six zero degrees Fahrenheit here in Chicago today. That's unheard of for February. Normally the temperature is between 17 degrees Fahrenheit and maybe 27 Fahrenheit. Did, were you sunbathing? Yeah, right. We were probably <laughs> never, never like this. And each year it's accelerating. It gets warmer and yeah. warmer. So I'm not so much concerned about future wars and things like that. What I'm concerned about that, but what concerns me most is climate change. Yeah. Um, and for, you know, I, I see finally at some point politicians <clears throat> and they aren't from a certain group. <laughs> That will take action on this and start to take more action on it. the rest of the world is so mm -hmm. anyway well when about it well you're living in it so am i yeah but you know i've got a moat i'm safe <laughs> <laughs> but the um when they're adding category six to hurricanes now wow because that would be so extreme well, what I do see is a lot more flooding, a lot more ferocious storms, these atmospheric rivers, a lot more tornadoes, a lot of hurricanes whipping up through the Atlantic, through the Caribbean, and also through the Gulf. And when they mm -hmm. do that, they become much more powerful. But I see bigger storms like the right the because water's warmer too. Right, and I see you know some storms even going up almost all the way to the eastern seaboard. I'm talking about hurricanes. And mm -hmm. I saw tornadoes, things like that. And it's all due to climate change. So we've got to get together and kind of, we haven't tipped the scale yet, but if we don't do something soon, it might. I mean, we're at the point where if we don't do anything in the next four years, five years, you know. Build an arc. Good luck. Yeah, really. Well, I mean, with the weather like this, it can lead to massive starvations and all kinds of things, which yeah. we don't need that Armageddon. Um, I think- yeah. We'll do something in the nick of time. I heard some talk, and it really sounds cool. And it's and it's not junk science. They can take this giant, almost like umbrella, and put it in space. And what it'll do is it'll cast a shadow on the Earth at certain spots, and that will help slow global warming. And I see that happening, and I think it'll be a, a effective in slowing global warming, but it's not going to be a cure. Wow. It's like a big parabolic thing. And they and I'm a sci-fi nut, so... <laughs> Me too. I think, and I just heard about it. It was really cool science. So I see them doing something like that. So yay. <laughs> yeah. And they'll see immediate results in certain areas. So let's, okay. Let's hope so, so. Arthur, if they want to get a hold of you, how do they do it? My website is ArthurEaseYourMind.com. My YouTube page is YouTube, Arthur Ease Your Mind. Also, <laughs> My phone number is 310-494-5955. That's ArthurEaseYourMind.com. Mm -hmm. Your YouTube channel is e uh, Arthur, Ease, Arthur Your Ease Your Mind. And the telephone number is 
5955. Everybody right. call and get a reading from this from this man. He's excellent. And so I would suggest doing it. I'll All pay right. you later for saying that. I'm sorry? I'll pay you later for saying that. <laughs> Checks in the mail. <laughs> Okay, before we get started answering questions, I took some notes before we got okay, good. started. So it's on everybody's lips. Uh, <clears throat> Appeals Court rejects presidential immunity claim. U.S. Court of Appeals, I'm reading off of the, I think, I forgot mm -hmm. whose outlet this is, but the U.S. Court of Appeals for the D.C. District made the ruling, uh, made the ruling that, that, um, that now they use the word citizen Trump. I love that. Yeah. Um, for purposes of this case, uh, any executive immunity that may have protected him while he served as president no longer protects him in this prosecution. So. Well, we've all been predicting it. We've all printed. You got the timing right on it, too. You said, like, what did you say? The first or second week in February? I said by February 6th. There you go. Because it was my dad's birthday and he came to me. And, and so I figured, yeah, that's that's why. That's um, today. You know, he's he's going to appeal it to SCOTUS, but my guides are telling me that SCOTUS won't hear the case. I'll just kick it back down to the uh, lower court, to the U.S. Court of Appeals for the D.C. Circuit. Well, what I, yeah, because I feel that he, Trump is going to try and get all the judges to vote on it and they're going to turn it down. That's what I see. And then the Supreme Court is not going to handle it. Mm -mm. Then he's going to turn on them. But when I'm president, I'll change that. Okay, well, let's see. Yeah. And then look at each other. Aren't we glad we didn't keep, keep him in? The only one I think that might go along with it is, guess who? The beginning of the C? <laughs> I think it does. And he's wow. going to be in deep trouble too, by the way. Well, I believe predict i've actually for the last two years i've been seeing his decline and i'm saying he's gonna to have to step down before the election i know i'm going only with that but that's what i feel okay and a lot of it has to do with his lovely wife for entertainment purposes only well he's done some things too but i see legislation passed where they can't take those big gifts anymore and if they yeah. do then um they can't do it it'll be against the law i see a lot of legislation passed and a lot of rules that they're going to have to follow that so these constituents can no longer buy, buy yeah. the judges. I mean, I remember reading about Kagan where somebody wanted to give her like a dozen bagels and she refused them. So that's a gift I can't take. <laughs> and so, then you have somebody going around the world in 80 days, you know? Right. So tells you who's honest, right? Mm. Um, okay. Citizen Trump. I love it. That's I like, like that. Oh, that reminds me of Citizen Kane. It's kind of like a rosebud. Rosebud. Jennifer Crumbly in Michigan was found guilty of manslaughter today, four charges because mm -hmm. her son was the shooter. And I'm sure they'll appeal it, but I see her doing some time about it. Uh, and that I think that trial set a precedent. So maybe that'll help stop stop on violence, but. I mean, you can't tell me that her son didn't know what he was doing. I mean, the school even called him in that day. He was saying he's going to shoot people. And they didn't. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the parents didn't do anything. Right. So anyway. Uh, it's like, well, it's like the bartender that serves too many drinks. The guy gets an accident. The bartender gets in trouble. Here you go. Okay. So um, House Republican senators who at, who at first were for um uh, the 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 uh, border security bill did a complete 180 and changed their minds within 48 hours and one of the senators said they're just as tied the senate is just as tied to trump as they are to the house and so what really frosts me is that they're trying to the House wants to vote on impeaching Alejandro Mayorkas. Mm -hmm. They say because he's not doing his job in 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 for border security, but yet the Republicans have all these bills put in front of them, and they will not pass a border bill. If well, they won't pass anything or do anything, how can they blame Mayorkas for not doing his job? They're not doing theirs. Exactly, because there's a bipartisan bill. It's on the table. 
and they and they won it. Sure. And, and then like, Trump said no. Right. You know, everybody's like their heads are turning like little Reagan from The Exorcist, you know, and spitting pea soup. Yeah. So Trump is going to make his case. Um, my my nephew said this. That's my great niece's husband. Mm-hmm. That Trump is going to run on all about immigration. And, you know, that brings it up to me like when he ran in 2016. I'm going to build a great wall. Didn't happen. Piece of it. Or I'm going to come up with the greatest health care program, blah, 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 blah. Oh, yeah. We're still waiting. So, you know, he he ran his campaign then by vilifying Mexicans and Muslims, and he's doing the same thing again. Yeah. I feel that this is going to blow up in the Republicans' faces because Biden, the Democrats have to got to be more vocal. But I even see them, some Republicans standing up and say, wait a minute, you had a really good bill and you wouldn't bring it to the House floor. Actually, they already are. So I think that's going to bite the Republicans in the butt, don't you? Big time. And it makes Mike Johnson, who says, oh, I don't follow what Trump tells me to do. Yeah, right. It's nice. Entertainment purpose. Um, this is only. You're kind of freezing up. Is your is your is your um, are you is your internet okay? Yeah, I mean I've got. Yeah, mine too. I've got all kinds of bars. Maybe it's a Zoom glitch or something. I don't. Know. Maybe because I mean we did get a notice yesterday from um, Spectrum, who I'm with, saying that you know they call this a state of emergency here in California. So, if, and you know if your power goes out, don't call us. Basically. Okay, there must be some glitch, but whatever. Um, So the bottom line is um, it's going to blow up on Trump's face. But, it's uh, you know, I think Mike Johnson didn't bring it to the to the House floor because Trump told him not to. You know, McCarthy was in Trump's hip pocket. Well, Johnson's in both of them somewhere else where we can't mention Mm -hmm. where the sun don't shine. Third eye. Thank you. (laughs) Uh, We'll leave it at that, folks. But um, I'm really convinced that, you know, it's really going to bite the Republicans here again, where the sun don't shine. <laughs> well, the hypocrisy, people, I mean, you have to be Mr. Magoo not to see the hypocrisy. Right. It's 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 just there. It's blatant. Well, I think... You know, Johnson, like I said, was afraid to bring it to the House floor because he thought the MAGAs like the Marjorie Taylor Greene, the Matt Gaetzes would yeah. you know, vote to oust him. Right? Excuse me. Oh, it never fails when I'm doing a show. <laughs> what uh, happened? I'm sorry. My cousin's calling me. <laughs> oh, OK. Um, My elect- I- I'll say something real loud. And all of a sudden, Alexa starts rattling off definitions. <laughs> So I think he didn't want to bring it to the House floor because he was afraid that they would vote to oust him. But what I'm saying is there could be some moderate Republicans that really wanted this passed and to come to the House, you know, Congress people that might put forth uh, a vote to oust him. (laughs) Well, Mike Johnson, I I'm feeling that bill eventually gets passed. Oh, good. Well, aid to Israel, that's going to take a while. But I still think that Biden's got a few things up his sleeve to get aid to Ukraine. Correct. He's not going to let Putin win that war, I can tell you that right now. Trump would, but I won't. Speaking of that, I mean, there's a question about this, but Tucker Carlson is interviewing Putin? Oh, yeah. Okay, so we know. Well, so he's Tucker, in Moscow right now. Tucker, why don't you just go there and live? Yeah. You know, Tucker Carlson's not going to make a comeback. He thinks he is, but he's not. No. Okay, the next question I came up with was King Charles. Yes. It was announced that he had cancer, not prostate. I felt pancreatic or maybe bile duct or something. And this is very, very serious. And I remember many of us said, yourself included, when he was when he came to the throne, that he would not be on the throne long. Correct. And it must be very serious because... because Harry flew back. Harry flew back. And also... I'm going to tell you when I read it, the first thing I kept on seeing was a coronation 
of William in the summer, late summer. That could either mean that Charles steps down or where else? Right. And I see Kate sometime as queen, so a yeah. lot sooner than later. I mm -hmm. think her stuff is okay. I, I never thought of Kate. I never got really I thought Danger Will Robinson. Around, but I mean, I, there was something there, but not like, oh my God. I, maybe it's an ovarian cyst. It could have been intestinal, but I don't think it's anything serious. But um, Well, she's part of the royal family. Anything, you know, right. get it checked. Right, exactly. Okay. So next case is... Um, you know, we had also predicted the the civil fraud case against Donald Trump in New York. Mm -hmm. We predicted that it would be referred over to the criminal, criminal. Court prosecution. Yes. And so the New York Times came out with an article that said they thought that or some that Weiselberg was cutting a deal with the prosecutors on criminal case to um to flip on Trump. But something he said made Judge Ngoron, however you say his name, on the civil case think that he lied. So perjury, yeah. Right. So he's he's you know, he's called like the prosecutors and this and that and the powers that be, and they're not returning his calls. So I'm intuiting, my guides are showing me that Weiselberg is striking a deal behind the scenes with the prosecution in this criminal case. Yes. But here's the and, deal. Okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. I still get them throwing. I keep them getting $480 million. Okay, good. But if Weiselberg lied, then is that recourse for a trial? trial? I don't believe so. Because well, he went, it wasn't that as important as all the books and everything else that they had. And sometimes recanted testimony doesn't hold up. No. So I think if they're going to prosecute Trump criminally, which they will, they need somebody better than Weiselberg because it shows right now, if he lied there, what's he lying to them about? Exactly. So they, they but would, actually, the proof is in the pudding. They would have, I they, what I see is they're going to have substantiating evidence to prove mm -hmm. Yeah. But, you know, Trump might think that that would overturn the criminal. I mean, I'm sorry, the civil, but it won't. No. Because he'll appeal it, but I see him having to come up with buku money. <laughs> it can happen. He's going to open his mind, his mouth about Carol again. And every time he does, it's going to cost more. Right now, he's being quiet about it. <laughs> it's funny. I was talking to a client and I said, $80 million. And she's like, oh, that's crazy. I said, no, it's $80 million. That's why I kept on getting. And then two days later, she calls me back and says, it's 83. <laughs> I said, actually, it's 88 because he's that other five. But he put money aside and he can't touch it until whatever yeah. happens, happens with the appeals. I see her getting her money. Yeah. Good. I mean, she's a fascinating woman. She was the first uh, female staff writer for playboy back in the day his empire crumbling well house of cards you got it and i see his name as i said all along i keep saying it ripped off you know a trump tower in chicago and i had this vision where they just took the t off and left rump there um, <laughs> i got a feeling they'll do it or just for day or no longer than that so i got a feeling they'll just light up you know the r-u-m-p and turn off the lights on the t and just cut the wires I'm telling you, uh, and I think as we're talking now, that there's talk in Chicago of doing that. Because if he's convicted of crimes, and are, uh, I think, I don't know if it's felonies, then they have the right to remove his name from that building. Well, isn't he doesn't, he doesn't own the building. Own the building, he's just licensing his name. Correct. Well, that's going to change. Yeah. So, Oops. So every time I look at that building, I want to throw up. Now I can look at it and go, neener, 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 neener there is karma. <laughs> It's terrible, isn't it? Put a big diaper around it. There you go. Okay. So the House vote on impeaching Alejandro Mayorkas, as I said, they can't pass a bill for border security. How can they impeach him for not doing his job? And he hasn't done anything criminal. No. I don't know if they'll get enough votes for it to pass the, the House. As 
A very wise woman would say, it's a nothing burger. Jeez, I wonder who said that. I don't know. <laughs> okay. So that's all I had. <laughs> that's um, all? Well, I've got questions from you. No, I'm teasing you. <laughs> that's all, Mel? <laughs> okay, give me one second. And you've got questions too, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So let me start with um, Bernice Henson asks, hi, Mel and Arthur. I was just wondering for entertainment only if Trump gave top secret secret documents to Iran to take the bount the bounty off him after he did the drone strike in Baghdad, killing Abu Hu 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 and Hu 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 back in January 2020. I'm sure through a third party documents got well, I don't know if they got to Iran, but they might have gotten to Syria. <laughs> documents have definitely left the building correct and i'll bet you that secret room they found at mar-a-lago or somebody reported i think there were mm -hmm. documents i know there were documents hidden in there maybe the one they're talking about but i'm sure it's since been moved <laughs> okay yeah so because i have, I have a similar question from a deborah here asking about repercussions for agents who missed rooms i'm saying say not Say again, I couldn't hear you. Will there be any repercussions for agents who missed rooms that were not searched at mar -Lago? No. No. Because they only had a search warrant for certain places, I think. Well, actually, where these rooms were in the closet would have been covered by the search warrant. The thing is, when they went in, they treated everything with kid gloves. You know, when they go in and they have a search warrant, they rip the place apart. And, and mattresses and everything. And move furniture. They didn't move any furniture. And apparently... The secret room was behind the dresser or whatever. I mean, so, you, know, you didn't move it. I think there were documents there because they couldn't find some of them, but they're gone now. So, but I I'm, loved it when somebody said they're going to change the name of Mar a Lago to Carol Lago. <laughs> I think the best thing that Biden could have done was to remute, was to take away Trump's security clearance. Oh, yeah. And I don't think he's going to get it back. No. Okay. All righty. It's cool to be kind. Yes, it is. I love that name. Hello, Mel and Arthur. Do you see Ron to Satan? She said to Santos. I said to Satan. Ever asking Bridget Ziegler to step down from Disney board or Sarasota school board now that her husband has been cleared of rape charges? She refuses to resign. Um, I, you know... I don't I don't think the saint will touch it. Um, but there's one point here, even though he thinks he won against Disney and one court, and by the by the way, that Trump that ruled against Disney was a Trump appointed. Yes. Yeah. I see them appealing and I see uh that judge's decision overturned, and I see uh Disney taking this up a notch. Just because it looks like DeSantis might have won this one, he won the battle, but he won't win the war. So, and he's he's passed all these laws in Florida, like with insurance companies, like if they refuse to pay, that you can't go after them, you know, for hurricanes. And what it's done, the prices have gone so high that a lot of people can't get hurricane insurance. I have clients that are, they feel they, their insurance is more than their mortgage and car payment put together. And what's going to happen, that's going to help Florida turn purple, I'm telling you. Oh, yeah. I mean, to Satan, I think he's he's a two-term governor, but I think I don't, I, I think they can only do two terms in Florida. But what he's going to try to do is change that law. Yeah. Um, it's going to work. It's not going to happen. I see him gone. So. And all the, all the thing, like taking away, they're supposed to be like, we're for the children, for the children, yet they're taking away um, food programs for children. Yeah, in schools you know, and everywhere it's they just about, they talk about right to life but yet he didn't make people wear a mask during covid so how many died because of him i just don't get it i don't try to well, get right to life in the womb period no right to no they just want to control birth they don't want to control, that's what i mean that right. they care about if it's a fetus they don't care about once it's born they don't and once the child is born they don't give a hoot about taking care of it mm -mm. i see ziegler asked to step down, but I think it might be under the next administration. <laughs> um, you know, 
if they were cleared of charges, then technically that would make her not guilty. So maybe that's why she doesn't want to resign. But there's going to be more that's going to come out about that. Just, a lot just more. Look, where there's smoke, there's fire. You got it. So there's going to be a lot more coming out about that. Mm -hmm. um, all right. There, you know, this Maureen uh, Howe, you brought it up that Tucker Carlson's on a TV interview in Russia. Well, American TV programming show Air Carlson, uh, Carlson's Russian interview here in the U.S. Um, I don't know if they'll uh, air it on Fox because they let him go. <laughs> so I think it's a way, he's doing this as a way to launch his own channel into like, you know, on, on streaming and to, um, um, you know, to help, what's the word I'm looking for? To help spread conspiracy theory. Oh yeah, we'll get Elon Musk to do. Well, back Elon him. Musk will probably back him. But That's yet, what you said, yeah. Yeah, but yet, entertainment purposes only. Yeah. It's not going to work. Mm -mm. Okay. Well, I've always predicted that after April, I don't see Putin around. So we'll see what happens. Good. Okay, Pam Ferdo says, "Hello, Arthur and Mel. Hi, Pam." Um, how I oh, hope you both are doing well and enjoy your show. Thank you. My question is this How many seats do you see the Dems will win in the primary in the House and Senate? Also, how will the Dems do on the special elections? Thank you so much. Um, go ahead. What do you think? Special, special elections? No, well, how many seats? I don't know how many seats they'll win in the primary. I don't know how many, but I'm going to say right now, this, the special elections, a lot of them will go to Democrats. This is another reason why I feel like Hakeem Jeffries may become Speaker of the House before the election. Okay. Well, I think that they're thinking in the primary that this is going to be another like red wave. And even with the elections for the House and the Senate, they think it's going to be. There's my red wave. wave. Right. It's not even going to be a pink drop. Like if you drop a, a, I know. a, a red and a Copper. pool of water, that's about, yeah. a, well, it won't even be that. It's just not even going to be a pink a drop. But I do see the Democrats are going to be taking over a lot more places in local government and national government that typically had been Republican. So well, I if, actually feel, especially the, the ones holding, especially the ones holding MAGA seats. Well, what I was going to say is what I keep on picking up is the the mothers, you know, the, that group that's in all the schools and everything, that they're they're getting ousted one by one. And the only problem is the churches, the mega churches have like control of school boards. And that's slowly That'll change. eroded. Uh, I'm going to, I see them saying you have to keep politics out of the school boards and out of government, because if your church is going to be involved in that, then they're going to have to pay taxes. Yeah, they should. And the other rule I see coming back, remember, I think before the Reagan years, it, or I think Reagan changed it, but it used to be, if you aired a commercial for a Democrat, you had to air one for a Republican. It was, yes, I, I see that coming back. So that's a good thing. Yeah. Um, so here's what I see. I see a blue wave again. So like we said, a lot of those seats that normally had been maybe MAGA or traditionally, <clears throat> you know, in Republican areas, I see them going Democrat, both on the local level, state levels, and national level. So, And I, I feel abortion has a lot to do with it. That's right. Roe v. Wade will be upheld at some point. Oh, I yeah. see GBTQ rights codified at some point. Uh, my feeling is the Democrats will take back over the House, keep the Senate, and yay. Yeah. You know, ever notice how when Democrats or independents control the House and the Senate, other than the obstructionism, things tend to run pretty smoothly. The moment, the moment the Republicans had that razor thin lead in the House, look at all the BS chaos that started. <laughs> and also usually when a Democrat President Democrat leaves, the budget is almost balanced. Like well, there was a surplus after after Clinton left. There was a surplus. There was. Yeah. And we got in debt again after Bush. Yeah. So, 
you know, Biden has done more for this country than any more thing, good things than any president since 1963. So right. he just got to get vocal about it. Well, I actually, I actually feel as we get into the next three months, he's going to be much more vocal, and and so will Kamala Harris. Oh, good, you know, and and not using people to talk for him. He's just going to come out and say it. Okay, that's good. And the ads he's running are brilliant. The ads they're running. Well, Obama's going to start campaigning. So will Michelle. So will mm -hmm. a lot of people. So. You know, remember when Al Franken resigned because they he had that suggestive picture and yeah. what Trump has done. And they're, I mean, all the Republicans wanted him out and the Democrats, too, and he resigned. But look at what Trump has done in that E.G. Uh, Gene yeah. case. And, and then everybody looks the other way. Right. But had that been a Democrat or an independent, oh, my God. Get the guillotine out. Look how they let Santos stay stay in the house, and they didn't do anything until they started hitting him in the face. They're, that's going to be brought out too. <laughs> oh yeah. As he did, he resign. I don't even remember what happened. No, I kicked out. Oh good. Well, he's going to face criminal charges too. Oh yeah, especially especially when he was using other people's members of the house's house. credit cards and their mother's credit card. <laughs> <laughs> did they? Who did they replace his seat with? I don't even know. I don't know if I don't know if they have, but I see Democrats winning special elections too. So good. Yeah. Okay. Hi, Melon Arthur. J.D. Vance mm. is trying to pull the Republic ugly. I like that. The Republic ugly elite playbook. What do you see for his future? Not much. Me either. Like a river, dirty J.C. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing with the Republic Ugly playbook. I don't. I haven't heard about it, but it's probably the same old crap, different day. I agree. Yeah. Who are you, who are you going to pit against? Who? And who's better than who? And who are you going to blame for your miserable job and your miserable life? <laughs> Not yourself. Someone oh, else. And you can blame the rains in California. And all the inclement weather on the Democrats, too, because that's what MAGA would probably do. <laughs> oh, I thought, man, remember Marjorie Taylor Greene said it was the lasers in space that were causing oh, yeah. all that? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. My, I kept on laughing because I said, if they had her, if that was true and they have her address, Hers, her house that laser be pointed to her house. Her house would be the first to go. All right. Um, yeah. All right. Irene Chavez says, hello, another question I have is about the threats and swatting happening to a lot of judges, politicians, et cetera. I thought they caught the teenager who was doing this to them. However, I just saw an article that Nikki Haley was also swatted. Are mm -hmm. these threats and swatting instances being penetrated or perpetrated by people in Donald's inner circle? I don't think they're people in his inner circle. They're too smart for that. They wouldn't do something like that. Lone wolves. It's petty. Uh, they're not going to risk going to jail. But I do think that a lot of it is um, being put forward by some people in the House. And I think, um, in other words, hey, you know, this is a good idea. Or they're not quite saying go do this, but then other people listen. Right. That's what Wouldn't I it be interesting if, but entertainment purposes only i can't wait till they find margie taylor green's my tragic girlfriend's secret burner phone <laughs> that's good <laughs> All right. um i mean those that's that's that can be a felony to do something like that so yeah. um i mean there might have been a teenage doing it but there's other people that are going to catch but there's it. not one person's doing this i know and you know what and it catches on one person does it, then copycats do it, and just remember people used to streak. Yes, exactly. And that got caught. That stopped. Everybody's like, "Oh my god!" And now it's like, "Go ahead." I'm in Los Angeles. You know, I don't it matter. Okay, Kimberly Filiono. Well, you know, Kimberly Filiolino says, "Do you see our border bill passing?" Thank you both so much for sharing your insights. I'm not so sure the crisis at the border is a big crisis like they say it is. I think it's political. A lot of it's just uh, mm. 
um, yes, political overstatement. They're they're invading. No, they're not. Well, well, there's always a caravan right before an election. Correct. Correct. And then they get there, and there's no caravan. No caravan. So, all right. Until the next election. At some point, we'll, we'll we will get a border uh, bill. But I wonder if Biden. I'm just curious about this. I wonder if he could pass an executive order to say. Now here's what we're doing at the border because the Senate and the House wouldn't do anything, and he might be able to do something by executive order, which I'm thinking will happen. Possibly, I'm. I just feel that somehow the bill will pass. Okay. They may have to change a few things, but right now the Democrats have, you know, bent over backwards a little bit to get this thing through, and that's why they're getting really upset. Some, with some Republicans, yeah. You know, the Democrats conceded to a lot that made a lot of Democrats mm -hmm. angry. But, you know, you have to do some concessions. But it I, can't. but at some point, I see an end to this obstructionist politics. Mitch McConnell's the one that started that. And now the House is doing it. But, you know, I thought he had grown a set to stand up to them. And all of a sudden, now he's doing a 180. Well, Mitch, you were for it, just like you were against the insurrection. And now all of a sudden... You're for this bill now. You're against it. You make no sense. <laughs> so no. Now you have questions. So go ahead with yours. <laughs> Some of them are the same, but here's a here's one. Um, because some of them were asking about the Supreme Court, you know, the, the Trump immunity claims, and things of that nature, which we kind of answered. Um, Nancy Vasquez, what is in store for Arizona, Phoenix weather wise this year? I'm sorry. Say again. What is in store for Arizona Phoenix weather wise this year? Record ranking temperatures. I think they're kind of having a drought out there, aren't they? It was a hot summer. It's going to get hotter. Uh, and I'm also worried about Lake Mead and uh, Nevada because that mm. is the lowest. I was there in the 60s and it was up to the top of Hoover Dam. And now it's like, or Boulder Dam, whatever they renamed it. And now it's at the very bottom and it's like, it's scary. Uh, maybe with some of that rain from California and all that stuff, it might help fill Lake Mead, which is a good thing. I hope so. In Arizona, I see, you know, I'm I'm picking up like drought. <laughs> a record temperature is hot. Yeah. Um, and see. also, you know, it's a desert. And then people live there and then they have lawns and they water their lawns and blah, 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 blah. And it just, talk about climate change, they ship things. Exactly. I agree. So, so the question, let's see here. <laughs> question. Oh, here's one from Diane Brewer, the Diane Brewer. What will happen with this Roman creep using dirty tricks to take down Fani? He's being prosecuted by her and he's another Roger Stone type operative. Who was the person? I forget his first name, Roman, the one that got the whole thing going with the guy's ex-wife against Fonny Wills. Well, if they can prove that that was that they colluded to do that, to to try to influence the trial and that or to try to influence the investigation, that's tampering. Right. And somebody's going to come forward and say that. Well, so I get that she's going to go after them once things are done here. Then we're going to go over here and get them there. So I feel this Roman at some point is going to be in deep legal problems because if here again, if they, you know, I don't want to say conspired, but if they, you know, work together to bring that out to control whether the trial will happen or the outcome of the trial, mm -hmm. and that, that's illegal. That's tampering. Right. That's right. evidence tampering and besides that they can scream at you all, all they want but they're mixing apples and oranges just for the record uh wasn't the chief prosecutor his wife was having an affair his wife was having an affair with his best friend there you go they so, sealed the records for two years okay so there you go so, and now it's done it's settled so if she's dating the, the prosecutor or the lead prosecutor that doesn't mean that they are colluding to rule against trump I mean, they could be husband and wife. It wouldn't matter. <laughs> right. I mean, it does, it, that, so what Roman has done is made it look kind of questionable. But I can tell you right now, and Trump is trying to use that to say, see, they're against me. They're plotting against me. 
But what yeah. would them dating each other even have to do with the outcome of his trial? Well, they want well, we, what's what Bonnie Willis wants. He's going to try anything he can do to discredit her, and it's not going to work. But remember when it first started, where he right. was saying, "Oh, she's dating all these thugs." Right. Right. All these rappers. Right. I have proof of it. Really? Well, it hasn't to to date. It really hasn't changed much, and people aren't even talking about it now. They're already talking about something else. Yeah. <laughs> so. What do you think the outcome would be? I still see her on the case. I could be wrong, but I still see her. Oh, she wins. She wins. Oh, good. Yeah. Hands down. She wins. Good. And a lot of people, <laughs> I mean, all the co -cons named co conspirators are flipping like, you know, an I has, what is it, I hop? Yeah. <laughs> flipping like I hop flapjacks. <laughs> all right. <laughs> you got any more questions here? That's it, really, because we've covered most of the stuff in what we're talking because there's one about Charles and some other stuff here. So, well, yeah. I do notes before. And so, you know, I just go on breaking news and I just take yeah. little notes and then make predictions on that. So, well, that's kind of what I do too. But some of these, we have the same questions. So, <laughs> and we had a technical glitch. So, what happened yeah. when we started the show and it froze. Um, who knows? It could be weather in California. I don't know. Could be a conspiracy. I don't know. I got too much Botox. My face was frozen. There you go. <laughs> Looks stroke uh, smooth. Anyway, so next week, your channel? On yes. Tuesday? Okay. Yes. So uh, once again, if they want to get a hold of you, how do they do that? ArthurEaseYourMind.com. <laughs> Here on YouTube, it's ArthurEaseYourMind. If you want to call me, it's 310 four nine four five nine five five everybody i would suggest calling him for a session he's an excellent psychic um and got one more opening left on my africa trip that's all i still have openings for the rhine so if you're interested in the rhine www.meldor m-e-l-d-o-e-r-r.com or call my office 847-590-5411 all right I'll um, tell you what, if somebody gets that in the next three days, they get a free reading from me. Thank you. Yay. All righty then. There you go. Uh, either the Rhine or the Africa thing. <laughs> Africa. Oh, okay. Africa. Got it. I'll let you know. Um, Seriously. I mean, I'm okay. serious about that. Good. Thanks. Um, it's been a pleasure. I've got to go nice. doing another show. So tell us real quick, Arthur, what are you doing the coming week? What shows are you going to be on? How's it going? What's what's going to happen? Well, actually, my life's been a little bit on hold. I haven't been on YouTube because my computer crashed. Mm -hmm. And so I'm like, my files are more corrupt than a Trump uh, CPAC <laughs> and, and and other things. And also, I'm scoring a film right now. So I'm, I'm in back and forth. But we're doing a show, I think it's next week with uh sherry yes and and then i'm doing something with ali and marina and this is a couple other things i don't have my calendar in my head so that's why i write it down so I don't next have to tuesday i'm on your channel okay. and next tuesday on my channel now yes. later on tonight i'm going to record one with deanne and i think i forget the other guest name we're going to talk about paranormal stories oh don't burn down the house and then, here we go and then uh tomorrow night i'm on ken copeland's channel uh, Thursday night, I'm on with Kevin Chandler on his channel. I don't know what's coming Friday. I don't have it. I can't think that far. <laughs> so anyway, it's been a pleasure. Everybody, please go to Arthur's YouTube channel. Hit the thumbs up and subscribe. Hit that little bell. You know, it'll let you know when things are coming up. No, uh, hit the thumbs up for my channel. Subscribe. Yes, for uh, when I get to 22,000 subscribers, I will give away three free half hour sessions. Um, cool. I've already given away the three ones for 21,000. So anyway, that's great. Uh, we'll talk to you next week. All right. Bless you. All right. Bye-bye.